Today for the Tinkercad we are not going to go into the learn area we are just going to create a new design ourselves so we need to click on circuits and then we are going to create a new circuit we can search it says Arduino so we'll go and grab that and we'll drag one of those into our work plane area so once the Arduino is there we're going to look at programming the servo motor so again let's do a search servo and we'll use this micro servo motor here the other one that's sitting here you could be using as well basically the same thing we'll leave that one out for the moment we'll just use this one we've got three colors that we need to be working with, with the servo motors the first one here is the signal and that's an orange one so I'm going to click and drag up click again and then drag across and we're going to be connecting this up to pin 9 that's the one that most things end up being connected to when we are testing circuits I can straighten that up a little bit and because that's uh, orange uh, I'm going to change my color to orange okay the next one here is the power button that's red I'm going to click come up come across I'll come down we we'll keep our lines neat if we can and come across and this is going to be connected to the 5 volts pin here okay so that will give us a direct connection there and that's red so we'll change the color to red and finally we've got our ground which is going to be black we'll bring that across we'll come down we'll come across and we'll have to cut across the top of the other wire there which we'll do and drop it into there and we'll change that to black so we've now got our servo motor connected the signal which is going to tell it how far to turn the power for it uh, and the ground for it to create the circuit we're now ready to try and code our motor we're going to click on the code button and if you don't have blocks already selected then you need to click on blocks uh, if you are interested in blocks and text you could try that one you get to see how the pins are set up and it's already got a little bit of a program in there which is one that we're not actually going to use but let's come back to the blocks and the program that it's got set in there is designed to flash the LED we saw that happening before so if we just clicked on that at the moment you'll find that uh, it's flashing the little LED in the center this is the pin 13 LED connected to that pin 13 as well good one for testing to see whether the program is actually working but we're not going to use that so we'll just drag that away and get rid of it now we've got a servo so we actually are going to be using the servo rotate servo and we'll bring that out and it can go for 180 degrees from there all the way around to here okay it's on pin number nine so we need to change the pin to number nine and then we want to tell it to do something so we'll give it the command to rotate 90 degrees now most of what we're going to do in terms of the servo is controlling a wheel or a rudder and it will need to rotate between 90 degrees which is going to be effectively straight ahead and back to zero or around to 180 so when we click this one here it should come round to 90 degrees for us so let's just start the simulation and it's rotated around to 90 degrees for us and it stayed there because it's actually looping this program now what I might want to do is get it to wait for a moment and then get it to move on to another setting so if I'm controlling my rudder or my wheel I might want to change it remember we've got to be on pin 9 uh, I might want it to now go to 120 degrees and when it's going to run through in the simulation what's going to happen is it's going to keep looping backwards and forwards so if I just run this at the moment you might find that it doesn't seem to to do very much because it jumps back to 90 after the one second so I need another control in there I need another weight sitting in there so it's going to wait for one second at 120 degrees as well as one second at 90 degrees let me start the simulation again and there it's gone to 90 degrees and now 120 so 90 and 120 and you can see it's looping this around continuously uh, it's part of the Arduino language that it's designed to just keep doing the same operation over and over so that's how we're going to be able to control our direction when we are using the Arduino motor so I'm just going to stop the simulation there I need to go and change the name of my program up here okay so we've got our servo motor 
working and we can see that we can set the directions. Now it's your turn to try and create the same thing. Remember you're going to be trying to connect these up and you're going to test it out. If you've succeeded try and get it to turn to a number of different positions imagining that this line here is going to be controlling our actual direction. Remember that's at zero degrees at the moment while it's stopped and when it comes all the way around to down here it will be at 180 degrees.